What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Big Fry. A shout out to the subscribers. Today we're taking a look at a new game in early access called Atlas. This is apparently a pretty hyped up game. I saw it announced at the Game Awards this year and it, it's described as like a survival MMO based in a land of pirates. So just to read the description here, the ultimate survival MMO of unprecedented scale with 40,000 plus simultaneous players in the same world join an endless adventure of piracy and sailing, exploration and combat, role playing and progression, settlement and civilization building in one of the largest game worlds ever. Explore, build, and conquer. It's being made by the guys at Grape Shot Games combined with Instinct Games. It's currently sitting at $28 Canadian, about $25 American for those in the US. It basically sounds like what Sea of Thieves should have been. So we're gonna jump in here. Okay, so this has got to be like the spawn point, I guess. I'm gonna go uh, Western. Yeah, let's go Eastern Tropics. I don't know. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, I see. There's different players in each area. Oh, okay. So let's go. Uh, let's go here. Join. It says 151 out of 150. Oh, server full. Okay. That's weird because this one has 162. But all right. So I got to pick one that. Okay. 150, 151. Uh, okay. Well, let's try this one. So each biome looks like it holds different, like a different amount of players. It's almost like different server clusters here. Um, okay. Lost timeout. Okay. Jesus Christ. G7. Let's try it right here. Okay, E4 has like nobody. Okay. Well, what the fuck? Oh god, look at the ping on this one. What is going on? All right, let's cancel. Hold on. Let's try and get a PV. Let's try the PVE server. I guess I don't fucking know. There's literally not a single server I could join, because that one's probably gonna be full now. Yeah. What the fuck? So when I first purchased this game a couple of hours ago, it was actually sitting at mostly positive reviews. And then when I went to start playing it, because I was actually recording other content, uh, it went to mostly negative. And I'm starting to see why. <laughs> okay, so that one actually let me let me get in here. I'm gonna take the body fat down. Uh, skin color. We'll give him some tan here. Oh God, what the fuck? Why would, why is the control that fucking sensitive? Let's just make let's just make something fucked up. <laughs> fucking Popeye the alien. <laughs> um all right, Pathfinder given name. Uh, Tarkov, fuck it, who cares? Oh my god, we might actually get in. Okay, frame rate. 15 FPS right now. Alright, let's uh alright, uh graphics quality. Let's take it let's take it to low, please. Low everything, apply. Okay, that's fucking 14 FPS. Twenty no, okay. Resume. Yo, I can f I can feel the lag. God, what is this UI? This shit looks garbage. <laughs> Alright, why do I have to have those messages up top? It's like taking up the entire screen. Okay, so I'm running this game at 18 FPS right now. On low everything. Oh, God. Oh my God, dude. This is so bad. <laughs> this is so this is so bad. <laughs> this is what everyone was pumped about. <laughs> oh fuck yeah. Uh all right, what does that say? The resolution's so bad on the texture. Okay, hold on. I have to try it. I <laughs> I have to. All right, I'm going to set everything to high. Uh, apply. Alright. Resume. Oh. Yeah, 20 FPS. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna stop recording. 
Yeah, legit, that's exactly what the game's running at. Sometimes when I run, like, my programs, like DX Story, um, just to get different audio tracks, um, it sometimes really glitches out in some games. Um, this isn't the case for that. The game is literally running at, at exactly what DX Story is recording at. Oh, shit. Look at the lag. Why? Okay, why do I have all of the shit sh Oh, God. <laughs> the textures are so bad. How do I get rid of this fucking shit on the top, man? Hold on. Oh, shit. Is that an elephant? Okay. That is so annoying. Hold on. Is the elephant lagging? Oh, yeah. The elephant is... Oh, yeah. Everything's lagging hard. Oh, I'm lagging. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. 13 FPS now. Okay, guys, it's 15 FPS. All right, I'm punching an elephant. All right. Bro, this is, uh, wow. Yo, there were so many streamers just hyped as fuck to play this, dude. So hyped. <laughs> I'm just lagging inside an elephant. <laughs> oh, I can't do it anymore, dude. <laughs> oh, man, the lag is real. Am I dying? Oh, yeah, now all the damage is catching up, right? Okay, yeah, now I'm getting fucking wrecked, yet. Yeah. Okay, I'm just rubber banding now. Holy fuck. I can just, I can feel the lag. Oh, the elephant's way over there now. Oh, now it's in front of me. Oh, God. This fucking shit is unplayable. <laughs> oh my fucking god, dude. Get over here, bitch. There we go. I killed a horse. Alright, let me drag the body. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, just hide it over here. No one will see it. Uh, so, yeah, let's get the basics, right? Okay. And I, can I get, I can get that as well? Okay, cool. Learn skilled, uh, tools of the train. Yeah, this looks just like Ark. I understand now why it got, uh, mostly negative reviews on Steam, but I'm also curious to see why it started off as mostly positive. Like, who's upvoting this shit? I I'm running a 6800K i7 6-core processor. I got a 1080 and 32 gigabytes of RAM, and I can barely keep over 16 FPS. <laughs> Y'all yeah, thought Insurgency Sandstorm was unoptimized. Good lord. The performance is so bad, I don't even want to play it. I, I can, like, yeah, you can barely fucking jump without it lagging. <laughs> I was actually going to stream it. I can't imagine. Oh, yeah, there's some rubber band. I can't imagine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me get up the stairs. Oh, yeah. Oh, am I? Okay, I'm back. All right. Um, let's go over to the Steam store. I just want to read some of these reviews. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is this is unfucking playable, dude. Whew. Okay. Um, considering this one was like a pretty highly anticipated game, I'm surprised at how bad that came out. Um, okay, so it's made by Grapeshot Games as well as Instinct Games. And I believe Instinct Games had a hand in Ark Survival Evolved. Um, I want to go through the Early Access store page, let you guys know what they're saying about their game. So why Early Access? I mean, it's fucking obvious why. Atlas is one of the most ambitious online worlds of all time, and while everything we have listed in the feature section will be there around Early Access launch, we are going to need the feedback, insight, and creativity of the game players to build on that foundation. So obviously... Um, <laughs> It's in the top sellers, but, like, there's nothing to say right now because you can barely fucking play it. 
Um, approximately how long will this game be in early access? It's going to be approximately two years. I feel like it's going to be longer than that, but who knows? Um, the full version is going to differ. It's going to be better balanced and have even more content and features than the initial game driven by player feedback and whatever direction players desire to see the game evolve in. Uh, can we see it develop further before you ask 30 fucking dollars for it? Is that, is that fucking, is that something we can do? Is it? Is, is, is that good enough fucking feedback for you guys, considering you've been down this road once already? Is, can, can you jot that the fuck down? All right, let me look here. MMO on the grandest scale. I don't... Whatever. You can tout that it's the largest fucking game of all time. Oh, yeah. Over 700 unique landmasses across 45,000 square kilometers. When your network... <laughs> when your network can't handle it yet, why even tout this? It's... <laughs> It's just ridiculous. Um, yeah, intense action. All right, I want to look at some of the top reviews here because some of these people, like this guy has 0.6 hours. I understand it. So this is the top review, uh, most helpful reviews in the last day. So this guy says, do not buy this game in its current state. It's a reskin of Ark. And while I will agree, it does have a lot of similar things to Ark in terms of the UI from what I remember. He says that is somehow worse than Ark. I fucking nailed it. If you look in the game's install folder, there are folders literally called Scorched Earth and Aberration just reusing assets from Ark. And on top of that, if you have a controller plugged in, scroll down to the bottom of the options on the main menu. If you scroll down one more past that, there's another invisible menu option. Hit A or X or whatever on your controller, and it opens up the Ark menu. It even shows options to choose which Ark DLC you want to play. So this legitimately is a reskin of Ark. For a game that, according to the devs, has a chance to be the greatest game of all time, this is utter censored. It is literally a reskinned Ark that is less functional. Look back at Ark's development, launched early access for 30, then paid, then a paid $20 DLC, yes, was released in early access. That is true. Then the price later went up to 60 and another paid deal. Yes, you were right. Whoever, yo, Jeff, you're a goddamn beast, Jeff. You were 100% right. I'm not an ARC player, but I remember that. I remember when they came out and I made a video talking about paid fucking DLCs in early access games. <laughs> this review says the most accurate pirate game I've ever played. It's stolen all our money. <laughs> uh, this game is going to be something great. Don't let all the negative reviews sway you. Maybe just wait till you get news of a more stable state. Why the fuck should we do that? Y y we're not the ones that put a $30 price tag on it. And it runs like that? Like, I get it, it's early access. We're going to, look, we're going into 2019. All right, if this is still an excuse next year, then we got some fucking work to do. For a company that's been around the block, knows the shit they took when the game first launched, knows the shit they took, now they're just following the same fucking trail? We shouldn't be giving them a pass at all. While I like the idea of the game, Atlas, on paper, and even in the fucking screenshots, looks amazing, right? But should we review the game based on the potential that it has? Or should we review a game based on the 15 FPS that I'm getting? Based on the shitty, ugly textures that I'm getting right now. The game is not ready to launch. Now, looking at this guy's review here, um, the game gets announced and a countdown starts that leads to a December 13th release. Two days before the release, the game gets pushed back to the 19th. A trailer is promised before launch. 30 minutes after the supposed release, countdown being over, and over 200,000 people waiting on Twitch, they get a trailer, that, and the game gets pushed back to the 21st. The devs say streamers will have access in the night of the 20th and the 21st. Game gets pushed back on the 22nd. Streamers receive keys and can start playing at 5 a.m. Game gets released on Steam. Most people can't seem to buy the game. So this has been an absolute shit show of a launch. When you have a company that doesn't give a fuck about customers, removed negative reactions, muted channels, and banned over a thousand people of their official Discord, there is no way I can recommend this game to anyone. That's what uh, Ben Menyo has said about the situation. Now, I didn't know all that. I remember the game got announced at the Game Awards. We were streaming it, and I, I, I just, yeah, sure, whenever it comes out, we'll play it. I didn't realize all this shit happened. This has been an absolute shit show of a launch. This is some World War Three levels of a shit show right now. 
Both cost about the same. I'm having some fucking deja vu PTSD shit. Yo, all of these reviews are talking about this hidden Arkman. You guys just fucking don't buy it yet. Okay. So I would just say, save your money. Don't give these guys any more of it. Let's just watch how this development goes. Let's see if this is all tied to the network. Like, uh, you know, like they're going to come out and say that it is. Guys, the servers took a beating because we're in the top sellers list. And that's why you guys are having all of these performance issues. Well, let's wait for them to fix it. And then I'll go in maybe in a couple of months and see just exactly where we are in development. Can I say I'm surprised? Not one fucking bit. But I figure I'd put a PSA out there for people who are looking to buy this dumpster fire. My name is Big Fry. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy the content, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Leave a comment. Hit that like button. And if you guys want to support on another level, consider becoming a member of the channel. You can click that join button underneath my videos and you can subscribe to the channel for five dollars every single month that supports me directly and i would very much appreciate it it's better than spending 25 dollars on this give me five of it and consider it a worthy investment my name is big fry thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one